Hello folks, Doug with Stacking Investments here, also known as the Stacking Perpetrator, and sometimes y'all call me the Perp, which is pretty cool. Uh, today's video, let's run through two small uh, mail calls that I got, and then we're going to talk about, I want your opinion, um, thinking about something and offering that viewers asked me concerning my when I said I was seriously contemplating selling off up to 25% of my constitutional stack. So let's do the mail call real quick. I've already opened these so that I could give the sellers feedback. I've already checked them out. And uh, the first one, um, if you remember, I bought a Johnny Bench from the Tops Allen and Ginter. Uh, set they put out and this is a special what they call a mini card that was randomly inserted so I'm thinking about because Johnny Bench I was like I like Johnny Bench when I was a kid the Cincinnati when they were the red machine was my mom's favorite team I did a video on the cards that she pulled out of her collection that she gave me before she sold off her collection and I just like Jenny, Johnny Bench. I found one of these at a flea market me and my dad set up at, and I bought it, and uh, and then I decided, I looked, and there's there's more Johnny Benches out there in this particular set. So I'm thinking about trying to get one of each through the years that they made this set and just go for the Johnny Bench. But that is the mini. And then the seller threw in a couple freebies. I really don't care about these. I'm not a really a card collector other than the cards I have from my mom. And I'm just adding some Johnny Bench in because I remember Johnny Bench. But I got these two cards. I may hold these out and throw these in for some giveaways later on that I might do. That might be part of the package. And then I got one more. Uh, that's a different seller. Uh, back in there. And this. They did really nice. They put uh, put it in the hard sleeve and then they did it in the uh, protective plastic. This is another Allen Ginter. Tops 2021. Uh, Johnny Bench. This is one of the variation cards. Number 73. So adding that to the Allen, the Topps Allen Ginter Johnny Bench collection. So that makes three. I have to research. I think there's five more that I need to pick up. Possibly six. Uh, I've got my eye on uh, most of those now. I'm just trying to get the best deal. So happy to add those to the collection and then let's get on to the to my constitutional i want your opinion before i do this because i haven't went through my stock yet to see what i need to finish filling out albums as far as the benjamins or the the walkers um, i have a i haven't had a chance to sit down and do it yet but i'm showed you all the album i got on the short set for walkers which is 40 to 47 where I can actually make two sets. I want to try to do I want to try to do the first page as a AU or better condition coins and then the second page where I can do a complete second set. I'm just going to put anything random in it. But what I was thinking about doing once I go through the Benjis and the Walkers, I was thinking about because there was interest some of the viewers expressed interest in having a shot at buying a roll, so I want your opinion. I've done my research. Pretty much everybody, we're talking uh, Keith at Coin Krill, his brother in Oklahoma, even Robert with CoinOp, and then I was just on a live stream that Numismatic Stacker had a live stream with uh, Daniel from Coin Help You. And they're all saying that the haves, 
that 24 is the pretty standard rate, 24 times phase. But the halves are bringing up to 26. I did my research on all the big boys. Uh, JM Bullion, Atmax, um, Silver Gold Bull, SG Bullion. And they're all 28 times phase when you buy either a dollar face or if you buy a tube it uh it's 28 uh barbers are pushing 30 a two, 30 times face on a tube so what i'm contemplating doing once i go through and pull the dates that i need to finish out some albums and stuff and figure out what i'm actually willing to part with i'm thinking about making up a roll of like these walkers I'm thinking about going through make sure nothing is slicked out putting a roll together of 19 coins and then adding in either a full date 1918 or a full date 1917 um, and making that the 20th coin either a 17 or an 18 as the 20th coin for that roll and then I'll do a video and I'll show you all the coins in there and I'm thinking and uh, doing it at maybe 255 a roll because everybody's saying that they're selling now they're selling the halves the walkers for 26 times face so that would make it 260 but I'm thinking uh, 255 a roll. And what I'll do is that particular roll in the video, the first person, once I do the video, the first person that sends me an email, it'll probably, I'll check the emails in the, in the evening. The, the very first email I got from somebody that wants the roll, I'll send them a PayPal invoice. And they'll have 24 hours to pay. If they don't, then I'll show the roll again. I'll ask the next person, you know, okay, the first person didn't get it, didn't claim it. You're next in line. Do you want it? And so on and so on. And then for when I do the Franklins, I'm thinking about doing the same thing. Uh, 255 a roll. I will make sure there's absolutely no slicks in there. I'll show the coins in a video and then I'll put 19 coins in the roll and then I will include a proof it may be a 61 62 or 63 I'll make a proof the 20th coin so you'll have 19 in the tube and then I'll keep the proof in one of these flips as the 20th coin just to give you something for I me mean, I may mean, uh, Instead of the proof, if I've got something that might be BU condition, um, I'll either do a BU coin or a proof coin. I'll probably do a proof coin, and then maybe I'll add a, you know, if I have one available, I might add a BU coin um, in the mix. It just depends. You'll see the roll when I do the videos. But let me know your comments down below. What do you think of the Johnny Bench cards? Um, what do you think about my idea? Are you, or is anybody in the audience interested in in uh, buying the roll? Like I said, the walkers, I'll just go through, pick out uh, 19 uh, randoms, put in there, and then for the 20th coin, I'll put either a, a full date 1917 or a full date 1918 as the 20th coin. <clears throat> uh, like I said, with the Benjis. But 19 coins in the tube and then add a proof to the mix but I need to know if there's uh, serious interest let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you on another video